Hello dears, welcome back to our science class. In the previous class we have discussed about synthetic fibers and different types of synthetic fibers, their uses and their properties. Today we are going to discuss about plastics. Students, you know that plastic is one of the most commonly used material in our daily life. If you look around yourself, you will find many things. Even this marker, your pencil, your pencil box, your tiffin box, water bottles, everything is made of plastics. So plastics are synthetic materials which can be molded. That is, which can be set into any shape and then hardened to make useful materials. The term plastic means easy to mold. That is, easy to set. Some of the examples of plastics are polythene, polyvinyl chloride, that is PVC, bakelite, melamine and teflon. Next, we are going to discuss about the major properties and uses of these First one is polythene. As the name suggests that it is made from ethene molecules. So here the monomer is ethene and these monomers are joined together to form polythene. That is poly plus ethene gives polythene and it is tough and long lasting and it is used for making polythene bags that is plastics bags, bottles, buckets and dustbin and it is also used for Packing. Next one is polyvinyl chloride. It is also known as PVC. You may heard about PVC pipes. PVC pipes. These are strong and hard and it is not flexible. And it is used for making insulation of electric wires. Insulation means covering of electric wires. This is due to which you don't get shock. And it is also used for making pipes, raincoats, seat cover, etc. Next one is Bakelite. Bakelite is very hard and tough plastic and it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity which means it does not conduct heat and electricity and this property is utilized for making the handles of cooking utensils like pressure cooker, frying pan etc. And it also uh, used for making switches Flex and sockets because it protects us from electric shocks because bakelites are a bad conductor of electricity. Next one is melamine. Melamine is an another kind of plastic and they are also known as fire resistant plastic because it does not catch fire easily. And this property is utilized for making floor tiles, ashtray and unbreakable kitchen bears and it is also used for making the uniforms of firemen because they will not catch fire easily therefore these are used for making the uniforms of firemen. Next one is teflon. Students have you seen non-stick cooking bears in your kitchen and all these are made of teflon because teflon is a special plastic on which oil and water do not stick because it has a slippery surface. So teflon has a slippery surface and because of this oil and water do not stick onto the teflon. And this property is used for making the coatings of non-stick cookware and also these are used for making the bottom of electric iron. So we have discussed about the term plastics and certain examples of plastics. Here we are going to discuss about the different types of plastics. There are two types of plastics, thermoplastics and thermosetic plastics. Here we are going to discuss about thermoplastics in detail. What are thermoplastics? Thermoplastics can be softened repeatedly on heating and can be molded into different shapes again and again. Which means thermoplastics can be softened on heating and can be molded into different different shapes. That is thermoplastics can adopt different different shapes which means they are flexible and can be bent very easily without any breaking. Certain examples for thermoplastics are polythene and PVC and these thermoplastics are also known as thermo softening plastics because on heating it softens and gets deformed so they are called thermo softening plastics. For 
example, when you take a polythene bag, that is a carry bag, and it heats. You can see that it melts. Even if this marker is bring over a flame, you can see it starts melting. So, all the thermoplastics are softened on heat. And these thermoplastics are used for making toys, bottles, raincoats, seat covers, etc. And are also used for making the insulation of electric wires. Insulation means the covering of electric wires because these thermoplastics do not conduct electricity. That's why they are used for making the insulation of electric wire. So thermoplastics can adopt different different shapes on heating and so they are flexible and can be bent into bed without any breaking and certain examples are polythene and PVC and another example is when you take a bottle and add some hot water in it what will happen if the shape of the bottle changes that is a deformation occurs that's all about thermoplastic second second one is thermosetting plastics these are the plastics which once molded, they cannot be softened by heating. Which means thermosetic plastics cannot be molded a second time. So once we give a desired shape, we cannot change the shape by heating. Some of the examples are melamine, bakelite. So we cannot change its shape a second time. Hence they are also called the thermo sets and the proper certain properties of thermosetting plastics are they are hard and rigid they are not flexible so we cannot bend it when we are trying to bend it it will break and another property is they are poor conductors of heat and electricity that is they do not conduct heat and electricity and this property is utilized for making switches and plugs Switches and plexus. So, these thermosetting plastics are a bad conductor of electricity. They are used for making switches and plugs. And they are also used for making the handles of cooking utensils like pressure cookies and frying pans. Because they are a bad conductor of heat. So, they do not conduct heat. That's why these thermosetting plastics are used for making the handles of the cooking utensils. So students, we know that thermoplastics can be softened by heating, whereas thermosetting plastics cannot be softened by heating a second time. What makes such a difference? The reason is due to the difference in their structure. Here, in the case of thermoplastics, you can see in block, rectangular blocks. These rectangular blocks are monomers and these monomers are joined in a straight length. There is no crossing in between the monomers. They are joined in a straight length. This is the reason why they are flexible and they can be bent easily. Where in the case of thermosetic plastics, you can see these monomers are cross-linked with each other. So they cannot be bent and they are not flexible and they appear hard. Why they appear hard and not flexible? Because these monomers are cross-linked. That's the reason why they are hard and not flexible. Next is what are the useful properties of plastics? First one is non-reactive. Plastics are non-reactive with the water, acids and bases. But most of the things are reactive with the, all these. Where the case of plastics, they are non-reactive. And because of this reason only, we use it to store food in the plastic bottles. Second one is, uh, they are poor conductor of heat and electricity. We have already discussed that plastics are a poor conductor of heat. And this property is utilized in making the handles of the cooking utensils. And uh, they are also a poor conductor of electricity. So, that we are used, uh, plastics are used to make the switches, uh, plugs, etc. And they are easily molded. Plastics can be easily molded into different different shapes. You might have seen that when a plastic bottle would come closer to the heat, they get started 
melting. So they can be easily molded and that's why they are recyclable. Next one is they are cheap. Their price is very less when compared to that of the metals and they, so that they are readily available in the market. And so a next point is they are light white and they are strong so they are not breakable and they are durable that is they are long lasting.